Hello, first grade friends and family. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me for lesson six in our SIPS instruction. We are going to start today with saying a word, then sounding the word, and listening for this sound right here, the final sound, the last sound you hear in the word, the word at the, the sound at the end. So let's say the word gain. All right, sound g, a m. What is that sound you hear at the end? Right, m. Mm, very good. Okay, so say bone. Sound b, o n. What's the sound you hear at the end? M. Mm, very good, bone. Say. Dive. Sound. D. I. V. The sound you hear at the end. V. Dive. Very good. Say hope. Sound. H. O. P. Sound we hear at the end. P. Hope. Very good. Say pile. Sound p i o. Sound you hear at the end? L o. Very good. And our last one. Say cube. Sound k u b. Cube. Sound we hear at the end is a. B, Q, B, a B. Very good. All right. We were talking the last few days about vowels and consonants. We know that there are five vowels. E, I, O, and U. Today I'm going to point to a letter and you're going to tell me if it is a vowel or a consonant. Ready? Vowel. Very good. Consonant. Good. Vowel. Consonant. Vowel. And our last one is a consonant. Very good. So the vowel sounds that we've been learning so far up here are called short vowels. Those letters also have another sound. They're called long vowels. If you are in my class, we talk about short vowel sound being over here. So a ah is over here. The long vowel sounds we talk about being over here. So they make two different sounds. So this letter, the letter A down here on the long vowel side, sounds like k, a, k, cake. Hmm. It has a sound like its own name. It's called a long A. So when the letter sounds like k, a, k, as in cake, what do we call that? Right, a long vowel. So our short vowels and our long vowels. Let's take a peek at this one. When the letter says tr, e, e as in tr, e, what do we call that sound? Write a long E. What is the name of that letter? E. Here we have k, kite, kite. This is called a what? A long I. The sound that we hear in kite is a long I. 
over here, when the letter O sounds like B, own, we call that sound what? Right, a long O, B, O, makes the O sound, it says its name, B, own, and we call that a long O. And our last one, let me adjust my camera, the last one, this one's a little bit tricky. When the U sounds like the U in M, mule, mule, it is called a long U, right? And the name of this letter is U. And the sound that it makes, long U. Now this one is tricky because we have two different spellings that make the two sounds. U consonant E says m u says u long u and the e w also makes the long u sound u says u. So I want to introduce these to us. You might notice that there's a long e at the end or an e at the end. So we have long A, consonant E at the end. Sometimes we call that a silent E. Some people like to call it a bossy E. But regardless, it's the E at the end of the word. So this says A, K, A, K, E, Tr, E, I, Long I says k, I, t, o, b, own, and the u with two sounds. The first one is mule, and the second sound is like h, u, oot, hoot. All right. I want us to look. Take a peek at some words here. And I'm going to read both columns to you. I want you to really notice the difference between the sound from this word to this word. And I also want you to notice the spelling. So let's take a peek at our first word. We have mad, mad. M-A-D. You're probably noticing the difference between m a This was our short A sound. m a d sound over here. And over here, we're noticing m a Ooh, m a d We're hearing our long A sound. So that's making the long A. You also are probably noticing that there's something at the end. This E at the end. And in my class we say the E is jumping over and making that A say its name. So m ad and m aid. Alright, let's take a peek at our next one. Our next one is Et, pet, and p, e, t, peat. We don't hear that silent e at the end, but it's there and it's telling us that that says its name, p, e, t. What's down here? L, i, k, lick, and l, i, You see that it has an E at the end, and that E is jumping over and telling the I to say its name. A, uh, P, and H, O, P, Ho. The E is jump over and telling the O to say its name. All right, our last one is us. And then over here, we have 
use, use. That E jumps over and tells the U to say its name. Use. Let's go through the rest of our sounds that we have learned already. SP is sp, sp, SK, sk, CL, cl, cl. The S at the end, two sounds. The first sound is s, as in taps. The second sound is z, as in runs. ES is ez, ez as in buzzes, gr, gr, dr, dr, pl, p, sn, sm, sm, sl, N E D with three sounds. The first one makes the sound t, as in tapped or asked. Second sound is d, as in filled or robbed. And the third sound is the E D sound, batted, id, or land, id. So three sounds. First, D and Ed. All right, let's read from our list. Get all my words here. Okay. Let's start right here at the top. We have it. Please do not quit. We have black, black. The black cat is pretty. T -oon, t -oon. You're noticing that these words, some of them have, what do we call that? A silent E at the end. Very good. So here, this word has, we read this two different ways. Close, close the door. Or close. Please don't stand so close to me. Close. K er, cure. Eve. Eve. O's, nose, well, here we notice that this one does not have a silent E, so that means it's going to be a short I sound, H, I, D, HID, ready, read, CH, ACE, Chase, or act, it's our short A over here, rat, ready, next, next, here we go, quite, quite, this E is jumping over and telling the I, I, say your name, use, Let's look at this one. This one's a little bit tricky. I'm going to break it down a little bit. M, a, p, mop, in, mopping, s, a, f, safe. Silent E at the end, telling the A to say its name. And here we have r, ood. We have a second sound, r, ood, d, 
I've dived. Us left. Left. Here's some trickier words down here. So let's take a peek. T aced. Taste. And pull. Pull. And ed. Planted. Here's that ed making the ed. Planted. All right, we have three new sight words to learn today. Let's give you your first one. He drives a large truck. Our first word is large. Read large sound L A R G E. Read sound read large sound. Very good. Large. Your next one is Every bird flew away. And our word is every. 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 So let's read that together. Spell E V E R Y. Read. Spell. One more time. Read. Spell. Very good. And our last word. Come to my house after school. And our last word is after after read spell a f t e r read spell read spell nice let's review some of the other words Add these in here. Live, live, read, spell, bin, spell, read. Food, spell, read, two, I have two kitties, spell, read, very, spell, read, There, their house is pink. Spell, read, water. Can I please have a drink of water? Spell, read. Walk. Let's go for a walk. Spell. Read. Uh, 
other. Spell, read. Give, spell, read. Look, spell, read. After. Read. Every. Spell. Read. And our last one. Large. Spell. Read. All righty, it is now time for us to do our dictation. I am going to say the word and use it in a sentence. This is the time when you get your own paper, so pause me if you need to while you go do that. And come right back. Come back. All right. Our first Word is note. Say note. Okay, let's sound note. Ready? The first sound is n. The next sound is n o. So let's look over here at our bone card. O, it is our long O over here. So no O, no O, T. In my class we go T. N, O, T. T. Hmm. What do you think I need at the end? Remember the spelling pattern? Right, we need our silent E at the end. That silent E is jumping over. Very good. You don't need to draw that. But do draw a smiley face if you got it right. Okay. Our next word, say ride. I like to ride my bike. That first sound that we hear, ooh, it's an R. Let's everyone write an R. The next sound is I. Let's look up here at our kite card. This is our I spelling, the long I. So I'm going to write my I. R I D. D. What do we hear there? D. Now remember to write your D the right way. Make sure it's facing the right way. R I D. And I know from looking up here that I need this E at the end, that silent E. So I'm going to add that. I'd give myself a star. You should too. Okay. Our next one. Our next word is mute. Mute. All right? Say mute. Let's sound that out. The first sound we hear is mmm. So everyone right there, mmm. The next sound, ooh. And then look over here, you, you. Ooh, t. You hear that? And I know, since it's saying its name, it's a long vowel. And then it has to have a what at the end? Silent E. Very good. Mute. I turned the TV onto mute. Sorry, I didn't say that sentence earlier. Mute means turn it on. All right. Our next word is tap. Tap. If I tap you on the shoulder, please line up. Tap. So that first sound we hear. 
right? That's a T. T. A. So we're going to look up here for our short A. T. A. P. Very good. P. That's what you hear at the end. Tap. All right. Number five. We should be on number five now. Number five is of. This is a tricky one. Of. I am of. And this is just a word we're going to have to know. This is probably a word that's on our word wall. It doesn't follow any of our spelling rules. So we just have to remember this one. Of. It's tricky. I know. Our next word, say put. All right, sound put. That first sound we hear is p, p. P, u, t. That was another tricky one. P, u, t. Put, p, u, t. Sometimes words don't follow the rules, and that makes them tricky. Okay, number seven is our sentence. So boys and girls, you know that when we write a sentence, we have to start with a what? Right, a capital. So our sentence says, we can wade. The first word is we, right? So we're going to make our capital W, 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 and then E, w. E. The next word was can. Very good. We k k k a and mm, the n sound. We k an and the third word is wade. In Wade, the first sound is W. So please write a W. The next sound is a long A sound. If you look up here at our cake spelling card, it's going to be the first one. A. So let's write our A. D. We hear that D. Make sure you write your D the right way. W. A. And when I looked up here, I noticed that I have my E at the end, so I need to write an E at the end. We can wade. And you know I'm not done until I have my period at the end. Nice. This is a telling sentence, so it just needs a period. Very good, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me for Lesson 6. And I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.